Hello, hello. So today we're going to learn how to make things spin in Roblox Studio. Over here we have a part that's spinning on the spot as you can see. Notice it doesn't do anything besides pushing me. So it doesn't do any damage or anything, but it does spin on the spot. In the future, we can learn how to create things that do damage, but for now it's just a spinning script. Be sure to click on stop in case you're playing the game to make sure you're uh, not playing the game because it doesn't save if you're in the game. Over here, we can click on part. It'll insert a part into the game and we can change its shape by clicking on these four very important tools, select, move, scale, and rotate. As you can see, I can click on move and select and rotate and scale. Allows me to mold this to a classic stick that makes it spin, right? So let's make it over here. Let's click on brick color over here to change its color, make it red. And then we can change its material to perhaps neon, which is a very unique and interesting material. It just makes things glow. Optionally, we can also insert a small little part that we put underneath of this stick. So it kind of looks like it's pivoting on top of this little uh, block over here. But that's kind of optional. Next, what we want to do, and the most important part, is to click on the part we want to spin and click on the plus sign and insert a script. So over here, I'd like you to copy the script down and let's go through it. Notice that we have a couple of comments. So these are optional. You do not need to include them, but they will kind of remind you what the script is all about. Over here, we have a loop. So a loop is something that makes it go repeating. So it's going to repeat the following script. What is it going to repeat? This long story short is a script that makes it spin on the spot. So let's see if it works. Okay, so over here, as you can see, it's spinning. You might see a little problem over here. We have the whole world spinning, so this is an important troubleshoot. What we want to do is make sure we click on this part and anchor it so it doesn't spin um, the whole world. Let's try it one more time. And there we go, it's just spinning that part. Okay, so that's it for now. Let's come back next time to learn how to put in a damage script.